before God that we are worthy. Because of the word says in verse 7 49 that the angel will come and gather and separate. There shall be a separation. Somebody's not going to get your work, pay for your work. I think I read the paper or somebody. Each, every man will be paid according as his work shall be. So it's no use people and say, well, Lord, I did this, I did that, or whatever. It don't mean nothing to him because he sees, he knows. And the Bible says the word of God is as a two-inch sword cutting and divided the thunder, even the marrow. So our God knows everything about you. You want to come before the Bible, so must come boldly. You know when you come boldly? But I never come boldly before God. Yeah. When you come boldly, you're not meant to fear. Yeah, come on. Nothing, nothing. We will sing a song that is nothing between me and my soul and my soul. Nothing between the virgin. We must go on. There's nothing between. There's nothing between. Nothing between. Nothing between. We're going to sing a song in the hospital. And then we're going to ask everyone who wants to come. God is going to shake this world again. It's full of hate and war and sin. Hear him calling from the throne of mercy. Come on in. Because God is going to shake this world again. Praise the Lord. Shall we come before the Lord? Ask God to help us to walk worthy of this great vocation we are come to. We are called. The woman was caught in adultery. And imagine that all those men was gathered around and they had wax. They had stone in their hands. And they were to stone the woman to death. Kill her. And they found themselves was okay. But they were not okay. They were not okay. Praise the Lord. We ask the children to come first. Come, children, we pray with you. God is going to show you this world again. It's full of hate and war and sin. Praise the Lord Jesus. Brethren, we who are children, I'm saying we who are children, we ought to make sure that we are pointing our children in the right direction. As well as what our brother said, we have to make sure that we are pointing them. Sometimes I see people who are Christians and their children end up to be criminals. How comes? Where did the link break? That you, your, your peers are Christian and it can happen to all of us. We can just vouch for our children when it comes to age. But we have to make sure that we do our best to guide them. Guide them into righteousness. Tell them about God. Teach them about God. Teach them about love. Teach them about forgiveness. Teach them about mercy. Long suffering. Teach them. Teach them. We are responsible. See you again in the end of the
us, Lord God, and teaching us a direct 